And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Rally to start the day off with. Came up with a new deck, you know, so we played the Vladimir and the Vladimir Spiders deck yesterday and I thought Vladimir looked pretty good. And so I want to try some different Vladimir Vladimir shells. We're going to have Crimson Braum later on, a Mega Mogwai deck that we're going to play later on with Vladimir. Uh, but to start with, we're going to play this Rally deck where... Uh, I put I put this together this morning where where you know like we're being aggressive Noxus deck, where we're pairing that with Lucian, because we're gonna have like our creatures die. You know like Vladimir does one damage to all of our our creatures, so you know, like we'll probably have our creatures die, and so Lucian doesn't you know like if Lu if Lucian sees four allies die or just Senna die, then Lucian flips and you and you can start getting some more, uh, you can start rallying, get some more combat steps. Um, so, you know, we have the Lucian Senna package in here. But then, of course, with that, we got Relentless Pursuit because we can get to an aggressive start with, you know, like these ones and twos and stuff like that. Get off, uh, start ahead. And then, um, whoops, and then rally and uh, get that extra attack and hopefully finish people off with that. Um, so I think that'll be fun. I'm <clears throat> also, also get to pair Vladimir with Scythria. I think that could be exciting, where Scythria attacks and gives your battling allies plus one, plus one, and fearsome, and then Vladimir does one to him, so, like, you know, you just basically ignore that plus one, but, you know, like, it, you know, so it doesn't kill your creatures as quickly. I think that could be pretty, pretty awesome. I haven't, I tried a couple of test games out with the deck. I didn't get those two out together yet, because I'm only playing the one Scythria. So I'm not exactly sure how it works, like as far as sequencing, like if I need to put like Scythria on the left of Vladimir to make sure Scythria's happens first and then Vladimir's happens second. That would be my guess, but we'll uh, figure it out. We also get uh, Vanguard Redeemer with playing Demacia, where we can get a little bit more card advantage, you know, with our cheap creatures die and play a three mana, three, three draw card. Um, and uh, there we go. You know, we have the Bright Steel Protector to kind of help protect uh, Lucian or Senna attacking in. Should be should be a good one. So let's have some fun. We're uh, closer than what we were yesterday in uh, platinum rank. We're we playing nine matches, nine games. Um, that's a new thing that I was playing seven before, but thinking about it, we're gonna switch it up to nine. All right, so I like we have one drop, two drop. We can have Vladimir at the top end. We got a rally. I'm just gonna keep this hand. Um, you know, we'll have, by turn three, we will have drawn three cards, so it's likely we'll find something to do on turn three. They won't get past me! By then. So, Hecarim Elise Garen. So this looks like Fearsome Rally. The main question is if I should just go straight to attacks or play the two drop. I'm gonna try playing the two drop. Yeah! Rewarded. Rewarded. Hmm. This mic is kind of in my way of seeing the cards. Who does not know the name Laurent? Okay, 2 4 Challenger. Um, So I kind of want to Brothers Bond because they're going to try to fight. Maybe I just let it die. Like they probably have like a barrier and stuff too. They're going to start pumping this thing up. Maybe I just play Senna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I just play Senna. And just let them kill dead, something. Dead. You call this a fight? Just uses my mana so much better to do that and then be able to double spell with Battlecaster plus Pursuits. They got past me. Or, sorry, Battlecaster plus Bond. Sorry. Go ahead, scare me. This is 
by a woman? Actually, I'm, I'm so <clears throat> drawing this means that I can have two tricks available with bond and transfusion. What was the point of doing that? Oh, uh, they have death mark. They have to have death mark, right? Okay. Well, first we're gonna do one damage to this to give this. Wait. Yeah. They use a lot of spells there just to kill my Senna. Like, what's the point of using the Mark of the Isle still? Oh, dang. Like, that's pretty good for me. Hey, Welsh Dragon. Hmm. I've dressed for the occasion. They get to kill both of these things. But I'm just gonna let them and get my Vladimir in play. Hey Rex. Hey sons. Not nope, not diamond yet. Not quite. Okay. So they're gonna take one, and then this is so they'll be at seven. So I'm not gonna kill them. I think we're farther. Mm. I think we're farther ahead, or farther. Yeah, like we did rank up yesterday, but not all the way to diamond yet. Did not fall One man out short of killing them. If I could have played a transfusion and a rally. <laughs> they just have every single challenger ever. Demacia wills it. Hmm. No, yes, I mean, yesterday we started at, like, Platinum 3. We're in Platinum 2 now. One Tick tock, the hour approaches.
It should let Vladimir transform and now have regeneration, so Vladimir will have full health next turn. I don't really need to rally right now. Especially with them playing this 1 1 to block my 4 1. This rally's just not helping. Dang. Don't have a good attack. Like, so, you know, I can attack out, I do three damage to them, they go down to two. But then two of my creatures die, they eat another one. They block with this. Uh, they're all going to grow with the Dawn Speakers, though. This is tough. This is going to be tough to get these last points of damage in. I have too many cards over there. This rally has not been good. There's just never been a, a time for me to use this rally. Harry, report. You are toast. I demand satisfaction. Hardly fair. Run them through. Aha. Words sharp as swords. This is a pretty great combo with Dawn Speakers. These Swift Silverwing Vanguards are still pretty underrated, in my opinion. That card's still really good. Guess I should have just attacked previously. Don't get in my way. Oh, these rallies are not good. Yeah, I should have attacked it. I should have just attacked all out last turn with the Vladimir. That that was the line. It was just attack all out. Let's see what they're made of. This will not take long. I don't have a I don't have a chance. Alright, yeah, that, that was definitely the line was just attack all out. Trigger the Vladimir, get the damage in. Alright, well rally looked really bad. But that's because we were behind on the ba on the battlefield. You can't you can't be behind on the battlefield for rally. But that's that's what we were, and I had it in my opener. So if it was just any other card that could have helped, it would have been a lot 
more beneficial to us. Let's replace these two. Kind of had that one in my opener for... Uh, and did nothing with it. All right, so my opinion of the best deck in the format is what we're playing against now, the Kinku Elusives. We have a pretty solid hand, but basically their creatures are like unblockable. So we'll see. This one's trouble. yourself to the shadow Zed Zed's a problem Sentinels of light I, mean, I basically I, I just can't <laughs> can't really block I guess they had a good hand too. It's their best one, two, three. Mm, maybe not best, but close to it. Dangerous land. I love a taste of the action. Looking like we're going to be 0 and 2. Let me show you what I can do. The advantage is mine. Let's get a good look at you. Everything is on the line. I guess it's better to block this thing. Come here, darling. Do one damage there. This one we were just behind the whole time. They had, as a, you know, the best deck in the format with a great curve. Don't feel so bad about that. The first one, I think I, uh, I could have, I think I could have played a little better the first one. But zero and two already. I did well with the deck earlier today off stream whenever I was putting it together, which is why I brought it here. Alright, so we have the Lucian Senna curve. Back room Z.
Maybe I should have mulligan the or you know sent this redeemer back also because we didn't have a one drop. Push back the Alright, ephemerals. So ephemerals aren't good at blocking, but they're very good at attacking. They're as good as dead. You're adorable when you're angry. Purity and peace. So I, of course, I want Senna to die and then flip Lucian. I think that's my plan. Explosives primed. Um, we did get to draw the card if I played the Redeemer right then, but we're just going to get more Senna's in play. It's going to make their life kind of difficult. I could also have Lucian die, and then I have three flipped Senna's, and they're all 5-3 double strikers. That seems really difficult to beat. I, know, I have this transfusion, though. So we got the trick. They have the 2-4 block. It's too late for you. But if they, if they have the 2-4 block Lucian, and I just let Lucian die, then yeah, these all turn into double strikers. They're in trouble. Hmm. You paid for this. I'll bring them peace. Could have saved Senna, but I think it's better to have Lucian transform. So now, the first time an ally dies each round, we get to rally. So if they play, like they're, like, I'm pretty sure we just got this, like this, they're in a lot of trouble. If they attack, they're in trouble. Yeah, rally means you get to attack. Rally means you get the attack token. Okay. Alright, so they have three mana. Go ahead. Scare me. I think that's fearsome, so I can't really block it. I am like they have the three spell mana, so I am kind of risking this here because they could have like mark. They could have mark. It's a good chance I should just be. The good chance this is just an unnecessary risk. So I'm saying that I should just let. I should just take 9. Or 12. I should just take 12. Well, because if I... But the thing is, if I don't block, if I take a 12, then Mark of the Isles kills me. So, I, yeah, so they had Mark of the Isles, so I just had to block, I guess. Okay. 
you monster. All right, so the bad news is I don't think I rally anymore because Lucian was the first creature dying. No, I don't. I don't know. Maybe I need to set that up and not have Lucian die. I don't know. Still not sure what they're gonna have. Go ahead, scare me. <laughs> have to have instant speed removal for this Senna. Yeah, maybe I didn't do that that combat step perfectly. But it's all good. All right, unlock champion wild card. All right, so I got champion wild card now, which is good because I am like out of to make the decks for the last couple of days. I'm like out of shards and wild cards and everything. So, all right, so now we're gonna change the region. Let's go back to Freljord and work towards this champion capsule. You get to change your regions for rewards because yeah, once you get to the champion wild card, the last two aren't aren't as good. The champion capsule is the best thing you can earn. All right, um, let's see. So we are playing some Vladimir Rally. Okay. Puppy's just been sitting in my lap. Just hanging out. The Boogeyman. Alright, so we're playing against Control Deck. Let's get rid of these transfusions. Transfusions actually pretty nice here though of like being able to save like cuz you know they're going to be playing like mystic shots and removal and stuff like that. So transfusion can actually save our creatures. Um let's keep one and replace the other. It's kind of hard to pull it off though cuz if I'm playing all sorts of creatures early of just having the two mana available. You won't get past me. And of course I can't I could just have like another creature instead. I'll do better this time. The order rewards its faithful. I'll try anyone. Night falls. All right, banking one mana. The sun's out. The crowd's ready. Let's rock it. Uh, chump bump is good. That's a great card for them to play. <clears throat> All right. So good news, we got Chump Wump out of here. Bad news, I just basically have a 2-1 and a 3-2. And they have a whole lot of cards over there. She, yeah, she did today. Give to me. Doesn't she doesn't always, but she did today. Jump in my lap here, but yeah, she hasn't she wasn't looking at the monitor light or anything. She's just sitting down in my lap in the chair. The 
I was hoping to play the crowd favorite first, because you make it a 5-5. Five five. But, oh well. Hmm. They could have another chump lump. That'd be bad for me. But they're probably. Uh, that's bad for me. To say they're, I was gonna say that they're probably in a spot where they want to start playing. Sweet, their champions. But yeah, another a seven-seven overwhelm. Another crowd favorite. All right, we're coming back. We're two and two, back to where we were. How's the volume? My my mic is kind of a little far away from me. But I'm trying to speak up a little bit because of that. So how's the volume right now? I need to play a deck with six different champions. Like four is like the most different champions I've, I've seen. That's a good hand. Freljord Shadow Isle is very powerful. All four of these champions are very powerful, but they're a little slow. I'm. Reporting uh, in. I'm not. I don't get the attack token the first turn. Unfortunately, Lucian's good. My way. Okay, ready. Okay, good. Volume, volume's good. Ooh, get a rally. They just pass. Explosives primed. Uh, walked into that. Walked into that. I wish I would have just accepted the pass and gone to the next turn and then just attacked. And then I would have had the extra mana for rally. So I should have done. Push back the darkness. Burn away the shadows. Our strength is yours. Today we fight as one! So I think I, I block so I can draw a card. Hey, Fork's not, not Fox. Today hey, Fox. The tide of war. I guess it's Fork's. But welcome. Deal one to all enemy units, heal three. All right, so, I, so that means I'll go to 16. I have two, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I could do 13, but they're gonna heal three. So I think instead I'll just... Go for this, go for killing their thing. Uh, 
So they're down to seven. I need one more creature. I need Lucian to see one more creature dying to transform. The War Mother will unite us all. Who's ready to reckon? <sighs> well, at least Lucian's transformed. Rally. We will not hesitate. The hunter. Stand and defend. All right, so that creature dies, so I should be able to rally. So I get another attack. And then I'll be able to rally again and get another attack. I smell a fight. But there we go. Yeah, because we just go straight to attacks. They go in block one. That was close. Oh. We're in diamond one for the first time. Or platinum. Platinum one. We're five wins, five wins away from Diamond now. Of course, every loss we get, we have to get another win. So like today going three and two, we've moved up one spot. So how's your, how's your weekend been, Rankler, Forks? How's y'all's weekend been? Your Saturday so far. I got a lot of bills paid. You know, the new place is the end of the month. <clears throat> so I did, did good today doing that and then, you know, build a couple of decks also. <laughs> he slept in late. That is ideal. Uh, let's see, I'm attacking turn one, turn three. What are we playing against, Ezreal? Ezreal is another kind of control deck that's trying to target us, target our stuff a bunch. We're going <clears> to <throat> hopefully be aggressive enough. Uh, Forks has been going well. We got a lot of work to do this weekend. Damn it. Ouch, that hurts. They had the one mana removal. It's the only removal spell in their deck for the one drop. Escapes my watch. Um, the sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it. Hopefully, it's good work, though. They, you know, you said you have a lot of work to do this weekend. Hopefully, it's not not too bad. Hey, Darmanuk, I am having a good day. Hope you are too. Um, so I attack, they block, they draw a card, then I play Redeemer, and I draw. Or I play like Bright Steel Protector, get this barrier, attack for two. Not very much. We'll just do this route with the Redeemer. Let the 
Eight hours work worth of work. Dang, that is a lot. I don't want to miss Puff Cap aggro. Yeah, that's that's gonna be that'll be fun to see if that can actually work, if we can pull that off. I think I'm supposed to just go straight to attacks. Maybe not. We'll see how punished we get. Hear that? Yeah, kind of punished. Can't afford to miss. They could have just like two marksmen. Like I think maybe that was like their their plan was double marksmen. We strike. Cold isn't the only danger. Or, or do they have the static shock? That would also make sense. Yep, static shock. We've only gotten them down to 16 so far. That was that was a very good turn for them. And obviously they still have tons and tons of cards. These marksmen's are good. Gotcha. Yeah. This is this game's worked out pretty pretty well for them. Basically, just using my mana and getting that thing out of my hands. Trying to go wide and then play crowd favorites. The people are my strength. This gets plus one, plus one for each creature that I have whenever you play it. So we have the maximum five creatures. I can rally and attack again. That's my plan, at least. No. Well, that plan's not going to work. That plan didn't work. Don't imagine we're going to be winning this one, but 
maybe we can steal it with, you know, Vladimir and Rally. I'm not really sure exactly how. Yep. Not really sure exactly how. But maybe we can. I've dressed for the occasion. Ah, uh, school homework projects. Got a presentation on the Boeing X-51. They only have the two mana. I don't know. I was hoping they didn't have any spells to play for two mana, but it looks like they do. If I fall, so, so Vladimir Trigger is going to do three damage to them. Excuse you. But my 1-1's one -one's gonna die. They're down to three. And now I get to go straight to combat and deal another two damage to them, put them down to one. But again, it's going to kill my 2-1. Harsh Winds is like their probably their number one card that they want. So drawing Brothers Bond was actually... This was just a great draw because it does... After they Harsh Winds, then we can uh, do this. Sweet, they didn't have Harsh Winds. Vladimir Rally. Stealing it. Awesome. That was a good game. Was looking a little tough for us. But the I think the you know like the rally really took my opponent um by surprise. You know, like they spent the four mana killing my two one ones, thinking that they were gonna be able to untap and you know, kill more stuff and All right, so we're playing against the spider deck. Hey, what's up, wizard? Yes, I love the art. Thank you very much. I'm going to be putting it back there on the wall here soon. Hope you're having a good Saturday. So I like the Redeemers. So like, this is going to be like an aggro mirror. So like, things are going to be dying back and forth. I really do like Redeemers. And I kind of like our hand. But we have nothing to play on turn one. Maybe, maybe I'll get rid of that. <laughs> Got another one. And now we get draw one drop. Darn. That was just the thing of like, we had the attack token turn one. And so I was hoping that we had a one drop. Well then. There's nothing to fear. Push back the darkness. Go ahead. I could trade with Elise. Especially how we have so many more Lucians in hand. It's also kind of free just to kill that first. This isn't good. Remember the fallen. You won't get past me. They have the three spiders, so at least flips. Beauty is 
Guess I should have traded with Elise while I could. Hey, Alexis Bros. Happy weekend. So now their creatures have a challenger. You get to tell me how to block. was really good. We have a lot of those same cards, but... This is not where I want to be drawing rallies when you're, whenever you're behind. Don't get in my way. Oh, why am I talking the the Elise can kill that? I shouldn't attack with that too too. But thankfully they did not kill it. It's a lethal attack by them now. Oh, just one four in a row. Yeah, their their hand is definitely better. Many more one drops. Okay, ready. <clears throat> and a bunch of all ones and twos. My hand is just too awkward, as you can see, all this stuff stuck in my hand. Whoops, sorry about that. Wait, wait, what? How do they block like this? What are they doing? All they had to do is have the 1-1 one, one pull the 3-2, and then I can't block the Elise, and then I'm taking lethal. Well, I guess I'm not dead dead yet. I don't know what that was about. Push back the darkness. Huh. I had lethal on board. I guess the this whole barrier thing is actually a little awkward. I've got your back. To go along with Vladimir, I guess that is a little awkward. I, I didn't really think about that because then it just does the one damage to ruin to get rid of the barrier, and then it doesn't actually trigger Vladimir dealing a damage. So sweet, Alexa Bros, you've been playing all week. Fun game. Your first expedition was disastrous. Yeah, the expeditions are tough. I think I got pretty lucky the first couple expeditions I did. But overall, they're pretty tough.
What's the opponent doing? Yeah, they they blocked with their Elise on that. It doesn't even kill it. Oh, you got destroyed twice by Judgment? Yeah, no, that, that card is just a complete blowout. I know it's better to play this before the, cr the crowd favorite, because then the crowd favorite would be a 6-6, six, six, but I just want to play it first to have the most defense possible out here. Wow, we, we should not, yeah, we should not have won that game at all. My opponent had a pretty easy win and just messed it up. Oh well, counts as a win. Five and two. Vladimir. Yeah, Vladimir is probably not the best one to draft. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one. Hey, what's up, uh, Cho? No, I don't play League of Legends also. No. Unless I play card games from, like, Magic the Gathering. Yes, yeah, so that's, yep, that's the full vault. Um, you know, the vault doesn't, you know, we don't get to open the vault till Tuesday. But, you know, we'll get three, you get three platinum chests besides a token you you want to get to at least a level 10 vault because if you get to level 10 then you get a token for a free expedition all right so this is spooky karma i think was spooky basically do i want to get rid of the transformation or the crowd favorite maybe both i'll get rid of both Do you like that we got the one drop this time? No one's the wiser. Hey, what's up, Morgan? Never see it yeah, I've been playing this for about probably a little over two weeks now. And this game is awesome. I'm honestly enjoying it more than Magic. I didn't think I would say that. That I enjoy a card game more than Magic, but... I am. Yeah, I do enjoy the, the lore art to the game. Yeah, I I know that there's there's more lore to... For me to... Um, but yeah, like, going like full going full art with all this stuff. Um, one of those scary spiders. I know there's more lore for me to check out and read about. And everything like that. Uh, let's see. Let's just play this first. See what they do. I'm probably playing the Battlecaster. The sun's out. The crowd's ready. Let's wreck it! The crowd's ready. Not escape. It's turn three. Got them down to four. This is about as good of a turn three as we could have, though. Um, yeah, I mean, that is as good of a turn three as we can have. Or one drop, two drop. Yeah, that was. But still. That was a lot of damage. Alright, so they're just passing... So I'm just going to, instead of playing anything, I'm just going to end the round and just go straight to attacks. Because I don't know what they're going to have instant speed to keep them alive. But that's what I'm going to do instead of... We got punished earlier with that of, like, they pass and so then I played something and then they avalanched. And I was punished in that respect. They have to have... So they, they're taking two damage automatically... So they have to have three removal spells. Oh, right, or they can just drain. Well, that's still, yeah, that's not enough, though. And we're six and two now. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be, yeah, there's gonna be tons of expansions, yeah. 
Yeah, because we're just at the first set. It looks like, from from what I've seen, it, it looks like it's probably going to be like three sets a year. Yeah, yeah, combat tricks are way better in this than in Magic, and I like that. I like how important combat tricks are, because combat tricks are pretty skill-intensive, and this is this just feels like a much, much more skill-intensive game than Magic. They have no champion? No champion. Alright, so I have the attack token turn one. Let's put these back, try to get a one drop. Yeah. So I'm gonna lead with the rear guard because Where's my axe? They could play thermogenic beam that would kill Saboteur and do one damage okay, to Saboteur. Ready? I like how I like how the spells cost more because you know like you're saying that you know like if if you just think of like yeah like the murder costs 7 with vengeance costing 7 but remember you get to you get to ramp with the um All right, need to put the put that down. All right. You get to ramp with the spell mana and so I think it does make that play pretty well. I think if, if the spells were cheap and you got to like get the free spell mana, that could be a problematic situation. I have my orders. This is the same one, two, three that we had last time. One mana thing that attacks for three. Turn two, play this this house spider. Turn three, play another one man thing that attacks for three and a battle caster. <clears throat> and last game, they played nothing on turn one or turn two, just like this. But then turn three, they played a three mana two two. We'll see what our opponent does here on their turn three. Okay. That's going to save them damage over what we dealt the previous time. Yeah, because last time we put them down to four after turn three. So only down to six, but <clears throat> still looking pretty good. This is not the... They don't have Avalanche. You know, they're not Frel Yord. My favorite region? Um, I don't know, honestly. I, I honestly like... I. I have, like, different things about all the regions I like, you know? Like, it's... I don't really have a favorite. That's kind of me, though. I'm not really a, a favorite kind of person. I just... I... I'm good at appreciating things. And so I kind of appreciate all, all the regions. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the plan is. I've, I have heard that they're they're I've had I've heard that they're planning on. Uh, I've heard just from people in chat saying that they're going to add regions. Um, Who's ready to yeah, that they're going to add regions, add champions, all that kind of stuff. It seems like it would be hard to keep. You know, if you keep on adding regions, the like the more you add, the more difficult it seems to. Keep it balanced. Judgment. All right, so let's do in two damage to everything. So I'm going to deal one damage to this to pump this. And we'll just let that happen. And so we finished seven and two with Vladimir Rally from O two to seven two. <clears throat> I 
How about that? Vladimir Rally, rallying back. So yeah, we're going to be doing nine matches with each deck. Um, just kind of doing, doing nine matches instead of seven. Just to bump up the time a little bit for each one. Um, yeah, that, 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 uh, started looking pretty good. You know, we lost our first two, but we never drew Cythria, Cythria in any of the nine matches. I forgot Cythria was in our deck. Never drew it. But yeah, it's a good, good aggressive deck. Um, I think the battles, the Bright Steel Protector looked a little awkward with the barrier. Um, it did... I was thinking that it, it wouldn't do... So, you know, this says attack deal one to it and one to the enemy nexus. It still did the one damage to the enemy nexus, um, even with the barrier. So that wasn't as bad. Um, but that's... So that's a little awkward. Maybe maybe that two drop could be replaced. There's a lot of other... Uh, there's a lot of two drops with these two... Um, these two regions that are... Um, that are perfectly fine. Legion Grenadier was one that I was definitely thinking about, you know, it was definitely uh, close to putting in there. Um, but I guess, you, you know, like Legion Drummer, Crimson Aristocrat. Uh, there's probably other two drops that... Uh, besides that, um, I've also tried it with like, like the Fleet Feather Tracker at first. I had that. You could have the trackers in here. I just, I just kind of felt that like the trackers were dying just a little too much with, with the Vladimir, but um, you know we only had the six one drops, and our deck definitely looked better whenever we had one drop. So maybe you want it like instead of the two Bright Steel Protectors, maybe you want two more one drops, and get the Fleet Feather Trackers in here to uh, challenge. Um, that's another option, or or Precious Pet being fearsome, making it hard to block. That's also another option. Or if you want the two, the second toughness, you could go Cythria there. So there's some some other options there if you don't like the Bright Steel Protector. But I, th I thought it was okay, but it was a little awkward at times. Um, but anyway, yeah, Vladimir just seems kind of strong. And just the Noxus cards in general, like Crimson Disciple, um, Arena Battlecaster, Legion Saboteur, Legion Rearguard. Like these are good one-drops. And so having good one drops and, and a good aggressive thing uh, behind it, House Spider is pretty awesome. I've always just liked this transfusion card. It was it was good for us in, in plenty of spaces. So yeah, I kind of like these Vladimir aggro decks. Um, Vanguard Defender with Vlad. Yeah, you could definitely play Vlad Vanguard Defender. Yeah, that's a good one with Vlad because... You know, with it being tough, it's not going to take the damage. And, you know, you can use your transfusion on it. It's not going to take the damage. Yeah, you could go with that, too. Usually once you're two drop to attack for a little more, but I could see that working. Um, but yes, yeah, so there we go. So there's Vladimir Rally. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think about Vladimir, the Noxus uh, creatures, all that kind of stuff. Let me know how Vladimir Rally is going for you. Um, but that's all I got. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.